Hello, how's everybody doing today? This is Mickey. Well, today I'd like to talk about a little feature called stacking. And stacking in Lightroom allows you to put groups of photographs, like we see here with this scene with all these bridges, it groups them all into one photograph so that you can save space and store all light photographs together in case they need the same processing or you're trying to call and find just the right one without all those pictures taking up space on your desktop or in your film strip. Now, you might ask, why do, why do I need to do this? Well, what's this feature for? And, and there's three things I, I use it for, uh, and that is when I'm shooting like a sporting event and I'm racking off 30 or 40 pictures in a matter of seconds, it'd be nice to group all those together in a sequence so that when I go to call or process the photographs, I can see them all at one time and I know exactly where they are. Also, like in this example here, I was in France for a couple weeks in a different city every day shooting photographs. Wouldn't it be nice if I could put these photographs based uh, in groups based on location, time of day, uh, subject matter, and that way I can go right to that little group of photographs. In this instance, if I wanted to see this bridge, I could click on my uh, bridge group or bridge stack and see all those pictures at one time. The final thing is, uh, I use this a lot too, I like to shoot waterfalls. When I do that, I'm doing a lot of focus bracketing and I'm doing a lot of exposure bracketing. And it would be nice to have one shot, one composition, that I had all my focus bracketing shots in because there are a lot of multiples that look exactly the same. And wouldn't it be nice if I could have those all in one group? So that's, that's what we can use stacking for. It has some really good needs to it. If you're a casual photographer, you probably won't come across that, that need to use it. But it's very easy to use and very easy to undo once you're through if that's what you want to do. So to start out, I'm just going to show you how we manually stack photographs. You're going to click on one photograph. You're going to hold your shift key down and click on the last one you want to have in the stack. And then you go up to photo stacking group into stack and you also notice command G is a shortcut so that we can stack the group now I hit the, the command G and now you can see we have a stack here of nine photographs the little icon here tells us exactly how much is in it clicking on the icon brings all nine photographs back so we can look at each one individually the number that they are in the sequence is in the left hand corner of every photograph if we click on the nine uh, or the uh, little badge at the top again, it shrinks it down. You notice you have these two bars on each side. Clicking on either one will also open up the stack and close the stack. There's a shortcut key. If you active, make the stack active and hit the S key, it opens it, hitting the S key again, closes it. Now, when you create your stack, if you see, oh, I missed some pictures, I, I need some more in there. All you have to do is click on the picture you want to add to the stack, click and hold, and drag it to the stack. Click, whoop, let's go back to our grid view. Click and hold and drag it to the stack. So now you can see we have 11 photographs in the stack. Now, if there's a particular photograph that you want to represent the stack, you can change what is uh, represented for the stack right now of 11. If we right click and go to stacking, well, first of all, let's open this up. All right, so we open the stack up, and I think this photograph in the stack should represent my stack. Right click, go to stacking, and say move up in stack, move or move to top of stack. It moves it to the top. Let's close it down, and now you can see this represented photograph of the stack is now that one that we had moved to the top. So that's how we can bring just the photograph that we want to represent the stack uh, as it looks on the desktop. All right, so this is all fine and good, but like I said, I'm not going to sit around and go through 1,300 pictures and try to create stacks of 1,300 pictures. And Lightroom has given us a tool to help us get through that a lot quicker. So what we want to do now is that we can right click or we can go to photo, whichever one you want. And we're going to go to stacking or go to the very bottom where it says auto stack by capture time. What Lightroom is going to do now is create stacks based on the time between the groups of pictures. All right. So now we have it set at 15 minutes and it says it's going to find 40 stacks 
two photographs, it doesn't know what to do with this. This is one of them right here. It just doesn't know what to do with it because it was taken at a time range that's really outside 15 minutes. So it just says there's two pictures that aren't going to make the stack. It's up to you now to decide what is the best time frame uh, depending on the photo shoot that you're doing. Just think about it. If you were shooting a uh, sports scene, you know there's seconds in between probably the, the uh, pictures that you took. You know, you snapped off 30 for one sequence. A few seconds later, you snapped off 30 more. So you would want the time between stacks to be very low. But since I was walking around and traveling around France, I probably want the stacks a little, little uh, lower. Or the time low, uh, higher, they make lower stacks. So we'll just try first at 15 minutes and we'll see what it comes up with. So we click on stack. And you can see now it's created a stack. So 67 pictures in this stack. And it looks like they're, I was in Strasbourg. It looks like they're all pretty much right. Uh, and then we look here. Let's close the stack down and go to the next stack. And these are 62 pictures. Again, this is in Strasbourg. So what I can do is I can take this uh, group here and mix it in with this one. So we're going to click and hold and drag it over and drop it in. You can see it's bumped up to 129. So now when I click on this, you can see all the first 129 photos in this before we get to our next stack, which is right here, is all in Strasbourg. All right? And that's how we can now, you know, it's created the groups for us. And now all we have to do is, let's straighten this up here, is determine is this group correct? Or do we need to uh, amend, our, our amend this to another group before or after? But it's very easy to move your groups around and put them together or separate them. So let's say we go in here to our 129 and we go to the very bottom here and we're starting to get into a water scene. All right. And I want to keep the land and the water separate. I can go to the first photograph. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to stacking and say split stack. Now when I do that, we now have one of 82 in this and it has been separated from our original stack up here. All right. So this is a way that we can either add to or split and take away from the stack that Lightroom did automatically. And although this still is a little more manual work, it does a pretty good job of getting the stacks together so that you can make the right decision to make them more comprehensive and be the right location that you want them to be. Now, as a matter of just going through some of the other options that you have when you have everything stacked, is that we're going to collapse this here. And you can see now all our stacks are available. If you wanted to get rid of all the stacks at one time, the best way to do it is hit Command A. It lights them all up. You can then right click, stacking, and you can unstack everything or you can hit shift command G and when you do that it will unstack everything I'm going to go ahead and restack everything again I go to stacking auto stack by capture time and hit stack and there you can see all our groups are now stacked together if at any time you create several stacks and then you do the auto stack, it will uh, unclear all the manual stacks you did. So do not manually stack anything and then run the auto stack because it will uh, erase everything that you've done and put in a pure clean auto stack based by time. Also, if you right click, you can see you have other options. You have, you can remove a picture from a stack. I showed you how to split a stack. Uh, collapse all stacks if you had two or three stacks open like this one we have open and then we'll open this one and this one all you have to do is right click go to stacking and collapse all stacks and it brings it all back to a screen of just simple stacks with nothing open well I hope this little session on stacking helps you out if you are shooting lots of scenes a lot of sports or uh, compositions that have a lot of focus or 
uh, exposure bracketing. It's just a great tool to group all those photographs together so you're not trying to figure out where the focus point is in a whole stream of pictures. You can actually put them all together so they're easy to find and easy to process. If you guys have any questions about this or any suggestions, please drop me an email. I'd be glad to help out any way I can, and I can't wait to talk to you again.